Welcome back to 10 from Ted. As many of you know, I used to be in politics. I remember what it's like after an election, thinking about the term ahead. So whether you were just elected for the first time or for the 15th time, I have 10 things I like every elected official across America to understand. Number one is October 7th, 2023. 1,200 people were killed, 250 people were taken hostage. It was a horrific day for humanity, a painful day for the Jewish people, and the deadliest day for the Jews since the Holocaust. We think about it every day since. Number two, there are seven American hostages out of the 101 hostages that Hamas is still holding captive now for nearly 400 days. Their names are Keith Siegel, Don Alexander, Sagi Dekelhen, and Omer Nutra. Four of them are alive. Itachen, Judy Weinstein, and God Hagai are deceased. Their remains must be returned. All seven, all 101, must come home. Number three. Israel is engaged in a seven-front war. It's a war against Iran and its proxies. Missiles and drones from Iran, attacks from Iranian militias in Iraq and Syria, attacks from Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad and other terror groups from Gaza and the West Bank. Seven fronts. Number four. Anti-Semitism affects the entire Jewish community, and it affects America. That's why all of America needs to come together to fight it. Number five, 85% of American Jews in the aftermath of October 7th think that it is important for the United States to support Israel. And now here are steps that you can take to stand with your community. Number six, support Israel by reminding people that Israel has been in a war of self-defense for more than a year against terrorists sworn to its destruction and created for the purpose of massacring Jews. Number seven, wear a yellow pin like mine and tell people that you're going to wear it every day until the hostages are released. Number eight, visit your Jewish community, do a town hall, Go to a synagogue, ask AJC to host you, so that you can hear firsthand from the community how it's feeling. Number nine, highlight the contributions of the Jewish community to your own area, to your own community, by recognizing Jewish American Heritage Month in May. And finally, number 10, take advantage of what AJC does. Let AJC help you. Use our resources at AJC.org. Call our offices. We have 25 offices around the United States. Come to our events. View us as a trusted resource. There's a lot to do to prepare for your next term in office, whatever office that is. I ask you, please, think about these 10 things so that you can be there for the Jews in your community and so that, in turn, you can act on behalf of the entire community. If you've watched this and you're not an elected official, please share this video with your own member of council, with your state legislators, with your member of Congress, with your senator. Let them know how much this means to you and urge them to stand proudly with their Jewish community.